Talk TV, and you may be getting excited for the Summer Olympics like I am, which they are geared to kick off in Paris in June of this year. But before the opening ceremonies, our guest will have already competed in an Olympics of her own. Joining us today is Miss Emily Shaw, and she has been selected to be on America's first mermaid Olympic team. So we're going to learn more about that. Hey, Emily. Hello, how are you? I am doing well. I am doing well. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. I'm really excited. Well, you should be, and I'm excited to learn more about it and share with our listeners maybe what this is, because it sounds like this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It, this is the first time I think this something like this has ever happened, and I think more folks need to know that you know this is sort of out there. So how do you describe yourself, Emily? Would you say you're a professional mermaid, or how, how do you sort of context what you do in terms of a job around around being a mermaid? So, mermaiding isn't my full-time job yet. I'm hoping it will be soon. Um, I do birthday parties. I've worked with Make-A-Wish, and I've been in a few different mermaid pageants, but this is the first actual athletic competition that I'll be competing in. Did you know that there was an opportunity to be competitive with some of the skills and athleticism it takes to, you know, be in, in the costume and sort of perform what it looks like to be a mermaid? I didn't know when I first started mermaiding that there would be something of this level, but I always knew that mermaiding is a sport and it requires a lot of skill. So there had to be a competition out there somewhere. And there is, and it's going to be in Switzerland coming up. Is it this May or is it next May that you guys will be competing? It is this coming May. We will be competing the 24th through the 26th, and I'm currently um, fundraising to help cover some of my travel costs like airfare and dive insurance for the event. Oh, things you know, you normal like normal athletes don't think about. Well, I guess if you're a scuba diver or anything else, you know, you kind of would. Okay, so how did this start for you, Emily? I know I, I fully understand enjoying, you know, um, being a mermaid or dressing up as things for birthday parties as sort of a side gig, but it feels like for you and some of the others, there's a little bit more deeper connection here when it comes to the profession of your choice. Oh, definitely. Um, I've been playing mermaids in the pool ever since I could swim, just like any other little girl did. And I, it kind of never went away. So as I grew up, I got more and more into it. And I started doing research and found that you can actually be a professional mermaid. And there's people that make professionally made mermaid tails. And I just decided that's what I want to do. And those aren't cheap, right? Like those are an investment for you, you all who choose this profession. Again, I can find, I can see many reasons why you would have one. You, you won't believe this, Emily, but you're not my first mermaid here on Good Things. We've actually had the aquarium, the Mississippi Aquarium, hosted several of your counterparts uh, for an event yeah. down there. And they joined us live on air to talk about that and how they were interacting with the kids. I can completely see how even in film or TV there may be, um, you know, sort of a use for this. And so if they're looking over at Super Talk TV, we've got some beautiful pictures of you, I guess, in full costume. Um, and so, yeah, these aren't cheap. So how do you even go about getting, an, a, a, I guess, a custom tail? Like, is it fit to you? Like, how does it not come off? So, yes, they are very expensive. Depending on, there's different levels, I guess you would say. There are fabric tails that are made in your normal small, medium, large, extra large sizes. And then silicone tails are where you get custom. Silicone tails are the ones that cost thousands of dollars. They are fit directly to your measurements. You send, like you tape yourself up and you measure around your waist, your knees, your thighs, your calves, and your feet. And then you do like the measurements from like your waist to the floor, your waist to your hips, waist to knees. It's just very involved to that to make sure that it fits you perfectly. It's like slipping into another skin. It's very tight. Would have to be for you to do all the tricks and things that you're going to be judged on. I mean, I would assume that would be, uh, I guess so they'd say a foul, a party foul, if your tail fell off <laughs> during during yeah. your performance. I want to talk about the Merlympics or the Olympics that are happening in Switzerland. How does this even get judged? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of athleticism. Uh, you have to hold your breath. You have to be uh, aerobically fit. There's no doubt about that. I mean, half of us listening, Emily, would not be able to swim across the length of a pool with a tail on and probably feel like we could survive. So w what kind of things are they going to put you all through? to sort of judge your athleticism with being a mermaid? 
We have a speed event, which is a 25-meter swim as fast as you can. There's figures, which is going to be pretty much underwater acrobatics, like different flips, different um, like skills shown underwater. There's going to be an underwater photo session because you can't have mermaids without a photo session, of course. There's an ecology event where we have to go um, about four meters down and collect as much off of the bottom as we can, and for that you're going to need to hold your breath for a super long time. And for the last event, it's a rescue. We have to um, go to the bottom, get a dummy, and um, haul it 25 meters to safety. All things I couldn't do. I mean, I think people, if anybody listening maybe went through the certification to be a lifeguard or maybe we've got some fire and rescue listening or or law enforcement may understand how difficult it is to, like, carry one of those dummies or sort of do the dead weight carries. And then you add that element of being in the water and then add the element of your legs being basically tied together, um, not not uh, specifically, but figuratively in your tail. That just adds a whole nother level of of. I guess hard. Like it's just athleticism is the word that comes to mind. So how long will you be in Switzerland? Um, Me and the team are going to leave on the 18th, so that way we can get over there. We're going to be able to, like, rest because that's a 15-hour flight and kind of acclimate because it's going to be a huge altitude change for us. So we don't want to get off the plane exhausted and then straight compete. We're going to have a couple days to acclimate to being over there. Who? All, how many is on the team uh, USA or America's team? There are five of us, including our coach. Um, she and one of the other Olympians are in Louisiana. Somebody else is in Texas, and our other one is in Florida. Will you all get the opportunity to, like, um, train together or practice together or do, fo- do run through some of the events together prior to going? Um, we haven't been able to get together, but we've been recording our practices and sending to each other to kind of go over, like, what we're doing, how we would fix it, give each other pointers and things like that, because we are all pretty spread out. I know I'm at least five hours from my nearest teammate. So that way you at least can still feel together. It's going to be a lot of fun for you all to come together. Are you all ladies? Are you all ladies? We are. And um, it's we do have phone calls. That way we kind of keep up with each other, and we've got a group chat that we send things back and forth in to kind of stay connected. So I know another piece for this you, for you, Emily, personally, is the awareness of conservation. Obviously, if you're going to be a mermaid, you have to love where they live, and that would be in the sea. And you've used this platform to sort of uh, bring awareness to taking care of the ocean. So what what's sort of your message around that? So I've always been super big about cleaning up the ocean, leaving no trash behind. Anytime I go to the beach, I spend at least an hour walking up and down the shore, getting as much trash as I can. And even when I'm diving, if I find trash, I'll put it in my little shell bag and bring it back up so I can dispose of it. I've done a few um, beach cleanups with the Mississippi Coastal Cleanup Program, like official cleanups. And another platform I really support and feel close to is the American Shark Conservancy. Sharks have always been my favorite sea creatures. And they're just so misunderstood, and there's so many different things that we can learn from them, and it'd be a shame to see them go extinct in our lifetime. I agree with that. I think it's pretty cool that you've married the two um, in terms of being able to bring awareness to that. I think we can all get behind cleaning up our beaches as well as taking care of the uh, the wildlife that's there in our oceans. Emily, if we want to help support you in any way to getting to the Mer Olympics there in Switzerland coming up in May, where can we go to do that? Um, I have a GoFundMe set up. I'm not entirely sure if, um, like, how I can directly link you to it. I know it's the name of the GoFundMe is Send Storm Siren to the Merlympics. If you search on GoFundMe there, it's also linked in my Instagram and TikTok bios, and you can find me there at storm.siren. And I've also been doing a few local bake sales and different events like that. Well, we'll also put it in our Good Things Facebook group, um, Emily, so folks can easily find it if they would like to do that. But we will definitely be keeping up with you. you got to let me know, good, bad, and ugly, when you go and when you get of back, course. how everything went down, because we would love to, to follow up with you and wishing you the best of luck, girl. Super cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. All righty. You guys stick with us. we got more for you.